So starting the test drive of this XT4 Sport, for 2024, it's crazy how just updating the screen can make this feel that much more luxurious. Now the older Q screen and then there might have been a screen in between Q and this, but whatever it was, the prior screens just didn't cut it for me. They were okay, but it just didn't really meet Cadillac standards, especially since we saw what Cadillac was capable of with the new Escalades when those came out in 21. So this screen, this 33 inch display looks fantastic, feels super premium. And just the graphics and everything is just fantastic. And it really goes with the Cadillac nameplate, in my opinion. But we're gonna put the vehicle into sport mode now. We have paddles. Shifts are pretty quick. And honestly, without too much effort, it gets up to speed. But we're gonna go ahead and just put in a regular drive. You can just hold that plus paddle to do that. And then we're gonna turn on the cruise here. Now this is rated to get 28 miles per gallon highway. You'd probably do a little bit better if you do the speed limit and don't have a lot of inclines. But ride quality is pretty great. And then sound acoustics are pretty nice as well. Just hearing a, a faint wind noise here. But other than that, it's doing fantastic. And road noise is minimal as well. And all this stuff you really just have, I'm just complaining about stuff, but none of it really is bothersome and you won't notice it unless you're looking for it. But I like that we can just throw on the paddle shifters at any time if I just want to downshift. And then again, I can just turn them off whenever. But the overall driving dynamics here are pretty good for a vehicle like this. And honestly, the only big complaint I have about this is, I just wish we had a little bit more rear seat space, but I think the majority of people in this segment do not necessarily need that. It's gonna be more of a commuter car that maybe you put your kids in on the weekend. And even then the kids will fit back there fine. It's just somebody like myself who's six three, foot's touching, or I say head is touching the the headliner there. But again, the seat up front adjusts for someone of my size. So a shorter person driving, you might be able to get away with it. But again, that headroom, you're gonna suffer. But it's just a very quiet ride in here. And the sound acoustics are just great all the way around. I love the sound of the engine, just at low RPMs like we are now. The nine speed shifts seamlessly. And it's just an easy to drive vehicle with it being shorter in terms of the wheelbase, the length, and then it's the height of the vehicle. You feel like you're driving a regular car even though you're sitting up higher. And I like the visibility out of the front. The middle part of the hood just kind of comes up a little bit and out, but still easy to see out of. And then having the lane keep system, it's just nice to, if you do get out of the lines or start getting out of the lines, that's the vehicle actually keeping me from going out of them there. So as I get closer to this side, you'll see it turn yellow and then it pings me back in there. Now for $54,000, it is pricey, but it is a premium vehicle. So you do have a lot of luxury amenities, heated cooled seats, the roof, having this newer screen. 
and the the overall looks of it are just fantastic in my opinion the front end like i said it's growing on me like when the enclave came out it kind of grew on me the more i looked at it but it just has that premium look that newer look that futuristic look and most people in this segment that's what you want to pay for anyway well this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 cadillac xt4 sport with all-wheel drive